Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Dr. Kristen Lloyd with Bariatric Mindset, author of Bariatric Mindset Success. And the topic that I want to talk to you guys about today is how to bounce back from eating off track. And so often on this journey, there can be a weekend or a vacation week or a long period of time or a short period of time where people are eating off track and it may be that you've gained a couple pounds, maybe you've had some regain, but it's very important that um, you get back on track, yes, and that you um, resubscribe to healthy eating. But in that process, what's very important is that you forgive yourself first. And so there is a process to it. And so how to bounce back is it's really important that you first and foremost forgive yourself for where you've been, what you've done, and that you uh, practice awareness of maybe why that happened to begin with. So it's not about judgment or criticism, but really about practicing awareness and being present with yourself, being honest with yourself, um, releasing the excuses and getting clear on what was coming up for you. And maybe you acknowledge that it was a choice and that you said, hey, I was choosing this. I was totally okay with it. And now I'm ready to get back on my game. Um, or it could have been where you were lying to yourself, fooling yourself, and that you were emotionally eating or struggling with food or just created from a list of excuses. I can have just one. Um, I can have just another one, <laughs> just this once, and then it turned into a pattern. So what's very important is that you um, forgive yourself, that you, um, honor what came up for you and that you do have compassion. And it's important that you know that compassion is not the same as permission. And so forgiveness isn't, um, hey, I get to do this again, or I got away with it. Forgiveness is really about self. I honor where you were at that time. Now you're in a different space and um, I'm going to help you to become better. And this is a conversation for self. And another piece of this is really building awareness of your patterns. How often does this happen? Is this something that um, you get into a pattern with? Um, maybe every time you go to your parents' house or every time you get on vacation that you, you go wild and crazy with food. And so the, the purpose of this is, again, to practice awareness. This isn't to be extreme. This isn't to... Um, to restrict yourself or restrict food really is to practice awareness of um, where there might be some behaviors where you are um, potentially compulsively overeating or overeating on a regular basis or um, making choices that are not good for you in a pattern. And that's something that you can practice awareness with and really look at. So some questions that would really help are, why are you eating daily? Um, what are you eating daily? Not why you're eating daily because <laughs> um, we all need to eat daily, but what are you eating? When are you eating, right? Are you grazing? Are you eating at meal times? Do you have some predetermined snacks, right? Um, how much are you eating at meal times? Do you allow yourself to clean your plate? or um, are you just eating until you're full? And then how often are you eating off your plan or eating in excess or eating late at night or um, having the munchies, et cetera? And keeping a diary of this is going to be super important for yourself. And part of your plan would also be for you to track. So um, you may have heard me say this before, but those who track their food according to the clinical literature show that they are the most successful long-term. And of course, you may have heard me say this, but I'll say it again, tracking is just data, right? Um, we don't want people to go back into diet mentality, but it is important that you practice awareness of your eating, that you turn in, tune into your hunger cues, and that you recognize what you're eating when. 
It's also important that you journal your feelings, what's coming up, and what resistance you may have to any of these things, right? You may have resistance to eating healthy. Um, I've worked with people who have said, I shouldn't have to do this. I shouldn't have to do that. And the thing is, is that um, obesity is pervasive and it is, you know, um, there are so many um, different parts to it, right? So there's the genetic component, there's the lifestyle component, there's the psychological component, right? So there's many different components to it. And um, what is important is that we take charge of our health as much as possible. And so while there may be this thought or feeling that it's not fair that I have to eat this way for the rest of my life. And um, so that's something that you may want to journal out because what you're dealing with is an emotional side or I shouldn't have to, or um, some feelings about it that you may need to get out. But feeling that way doesn't change how your body metabolizes things. Um, feeling those things won't change what's going on in your body. So if you're having some mourning or having some grief or having some feelings about wishing you could eat certain things or wishing you could eat more, right, then it may be time to work with a therapist. There may be some um, underlying issues that you want to address, right? Or if there's emotional eating because you're struggling with your emotions or struggling with some past trauma. So it may be time to work with a therapist. So of course, as always, you know, getting support and accountability is important. Asking for help, um, maybe um, reaching out to another bariatric patient who's on the same journey uh, can also help. And then it's also important that you celebrate your successes. So what you can do is start small. So start with one day and look at where um, you might be struggling and then create some strategies for yourself based on the time of day. So if you know that you're usually um, struggling or eating a lot or eating off track at three or four o'clock in the afternoon, plan a snack at that time, right? Or if you're struggling at nine or 10 o'clock, plan a snack at that time or maybe it's time for you to go to bed earlier. So there's a lot of different ways to address this, but when it comes to bouncing back after eating off track, it is important that you practice awareness of what's going on. You forgive yourself for it having happened. You learn from any missteps or mistakes and that you pick yourself back up and you get yourself back on track. And that means getting back on your plan, tracking your food, and really supporting yourself in the long term. So I hope that this has given you some ideas and some tips and some strategies, and I hope that it supports you the next time that you eat off track. So I hope that you have a great day, and I will see you on the next video.